Ah, there you are. Can we talk? I need a favor, and you strike me as the charitable type. Receptive, aren't you? I know I shouldn't ask, but I need some gold. Hard times all around, then. Well, it was worth a shot. Guess that debt collector traveled all the way to Garrick Mock for nothing. If I were you, I'd feel bad about leaving the poor guy hanging like that, but it is what it is. No, it's a lose-lose. I owe the church, too. That means any work I do here, they take a cut. The only way to escape my financial burden is to get clear out of Fodlin. Oh, I had... Didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's just joking, yeah? We all have to decide where we belong and then fight for it. Can't let your wallet control your fate. If money was all I cared about, I never would have walked away from inheriting a baron's house. Uh, it's nothing. It was a minor house in the east of the Alliance. I like to say I stepped aside for the good of the house. Has a nicer ring to it than saying I just wasn't cut out for the gig. Or that I lacked the right temperament. My distinguished little bro took my place. Fact is, he's a much better man for the job. Don't go feeling sorry for me now. I didn't mind one bit. Truth is, I'd have been miserable in that life. Having that title was nothing but fuss. Fuss is the worst. This way of life suits me much better. And you? You showing up at Garrick Mock was a coincidence wrapped in happenstance. Your pops was a renowned mercenary leader. It can be safely assumed you'll follow in his footsteps. Don't you ever feel like that life was decided for you? Better start pondering that one real quick, pal. Why keep breathing if your life isn't your own, yeah? Well, there's a decided lack of gold here, so I'll be off now. You think on what I said. Stubborn little... That's it! Nighty night, sleepyhead! Whew. Guess that's it! Can't let lowlifes like you into Garrick Mock. Nobody likes troublemakers. Trust me. What the... Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up on people. It's rude. But we can discuss your lacking manners another time. Why are you here? You following me, pal? Guess I can't fault you for that, since you seem to have been mopping up enemies without me knowing it. She really thinks I'm gonna try to reclaim my title. <laughs> she clearly doesn't know me too well. Yet she keeps sending fools my way like the stubborn shrew she is. That's my stepmother for you. Shocking. Remember when I told you my little bro inherited House Albrecht after I left? Well, he's my half-bro, and his mother is... devoted, to say the least. She'd do anything for him. Sadly, he had the nerve to be born without a crest. And here I stand with a rare one swimming in my veins. She's convinced I'll return one day to take back my title by force. Completely off her rocker, that one. If only that were humanly possible. Besides, I refuse to concede any more than I already have. It's best for everyone that I take the brunt of her malice. I can handle it just fine. If I wasn't around, she'd shift her beady gaze to my dad. Maybe even to my mom, who fled the house a while back. Or maybe my little bro would become the target of her good intentions. Can't allow that to happen. And that's the bottom line. Long story short, you should keep your distance from me. If that assassin's dagger took you out, everyone here would fall to pieces. How would I explain that? That's... that's some big talk, pal. So, you'll protect me too, will you? To think someone who can keep up with the exalted king of grappling would say such a swell thing. I'm a betting man, so I'll take the bait. Let's see if you really intend to protect me. Or if those were just pretty words. 
I see. By any means necessary, then. Before the war's end. I'm covered, but just to be safe, I need you to check on my mother and Kupala. <sighs> Still following me, huh? We have got to work on those manners, pal. Unless you really meant that bit about protecting me. That's where my mom was born and raised. I pay a spy money I don't have to keep an eye on the place. Whether I'm above the dirt or below it, it's up to me to make sure my stepmother can't get to my mom. No doubt about it. She's been honing her crazy plans lately. All because I've taken to fighting at your side. She thinks I'm making a name for myself before my glorious return to House Albrecht. Being delusional is her sport. There's little advantage to her going after my mom, but she's unpredictable. Gotta stay vigilant. Guess I haven't talked about her. After her and my pop split, she returned home. Where she's from... It's kind of an odd place. You know the folks who live in the mountains of the Alliance? <laughs> Guessing that's a no. Few do. Imagine a place with no influence to speak of. Nestled in the mountains on the Almiran border. That's Kupala. Well, they're not mountain goats. And it's not like they never interact with the Lords of the Alliance. They're incredibly isolated, though. Even their trade relations are remarkably limited. Doubt that'll change. The land lacks resources worth fighting over. Probably for the best, honestly. Oh, but back to my mom. She was different. An exception to the rule in Kupala. She left the mountains, was rescued by my dad, and fell madly in love with him. That goddess of yours is one cruel minx. So if that's the destiny she gave him, wouldn't surprise me a bit. My birth helped matters, but only a little. House Albrecht just wasn't where she belonged. My dad was in a tough spot. He was obligated to marry a fellow noble and produce a fitting heir. Nobody'd want to live out their days where they're utterly unwelcome. So my mom returned to Kupala. Then it happened. I was enrolled in the Officers' Academy at Garrick Mach, and everything changed. During my enrollment examination, they discovered that I bear the major crest of Chevalier. My dad decided to resist his family's wishes and make me the head of the house after I graduated. Thing is, the truth of my special crest was kept a secret, by decree of the church. He couldn't tell anyone about my prized bloodline, so I was forced to step down as the legitimate heir. It was for the best. My crest was inherited from mountain folk who prefer to keep to themselves. Imagine what would happen to Kupala if it got out. We both know it would destroy their way of life. Too true. I'm guessing the church thought my crest would cause trouble in Fodlan. But don't get me wrong. No matter what life's thrown at me, I'm no victim. Like I've said, I prefer it this way. I've gotta be free. Even if things were different, I'd still choose this life. But I can't let my mother and her people pay the price for keeping peace in Fodlan. Wouldn't be right. All I can do is make a name for myself in battle and secure enough power to protect them. Failure isn't an option. Hey, you! We need to talk. Now. You did it for me, didn't you? Without even taking credit for it. Admit it, pal. You asked the king to protect the people of Kupala. Sure, sure. But you know, saving those folks was my gig, not yours. Now that the war's over, <sighs> I'll just spit it out. I was starting to get excited about fighting that fight. Guess you could say I was disappointed to find you'd beaten me to the punch. But what matters is results, so... Thank you. There. I said it. Won't say it again. There's still a lot to figure out. The road ahead won't be easy. But this was a giant leap forward. 
Right. There's, um, one more thing I need to get off my chest. Ugh. I'm a mess. I wasn't planning on doing this just yet, but you forced my hand. I was gonna wait until I had figured out a way to ensure Kupala's safety first. Guess that excuse is out the window. So now, it's time to take the biggest gamble of my life. I prepared for the worst. Expecting it, really. You, uh, uh, uh I, uh, marry me, pal! Look, I know it's a big ask. I'm beefy, but that aside, I'm not the most eligible bachelor on the block. But I promise to become better. Not so selfish and careless. I want to support you, make you happy. The life I live makes me comfortable, but... Comfort be damned! I need you by my side. Always. If I'm not good enough now, just give me time. A year, maybe. Two years. Five tops. You do? I knew it! That seals the deal, then, yeah? Let's get hitched right away! I know a guy! Couldn't have said it better myself! Guess a lavish party is in order now! We have a lot to do! Ah, speaking of lavish... I know, I need to sort out my finances. We'll need a house, and all that good stuff. Hey, maybe we can just shack up here at the monastery. What do you think? <clears throat> no need to decide now, my love. Let's just focus on this being happy business. The rest will work itself out. It feels like a lifetime ago. But remember when you told me you'd protect me? At the time, I had no idea how to take it. I wasn't sure I could bear letting someone else look after me. I was sure that in the end, I'd be the one protecting you. That I'd be the strong one. That's how it's always been for me. Guess I was wrong. Huh. Suppose so. In the end, we protected each other. To join our strength. To look after you. And be brave enough to let you look after me. That's what marriage is all about, right? Being with you is so natural, it must be fate. Uh, you know, if fate were a thing. <laughs> that is. From now on, we'll keep looking out for each other. You can bet on it. <laughs>